Hi fellow Django developers, Azakaya here from alwaysdjango.com where we discuss interesting Django topics that helps you improve, grow as a Django developer. So if that sounds interesting, like, subscribe, share this video with anyone you think will find this video interesting. Let's get into it. So today I'm excited to announce to you, obviously it's coming out of my voice, right? So I'm excited to announce to you that we're going to start our Django sections and cookies playlist, right? where we go in depth about what sections and cookies are in Django, how to set them, delete them, set your cookies, delete cookies, update them, certain test cookies, certain tests, um, certain sections, using them in Django, generally everything about sections and cookies in Django, we are going to discuss in this playlist. So like, so like subscribe so that you turn up the notification, turn on the notification so that you can stay Anytime I release new videos about these sessions and cookies, you will get informed, right? And other videos in future, right? Because we are going in depth, everything about Django. If you want to learn Django, this, 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 this is the channel for you, right? Alwaysdjango.com. So here on all, like always, we have an article here on Always Django where we discuss these sections and cookies in Django in depth also. Like this playlist will be something like we'll be referencing this article here we'll be referencing this article here so today we are going to discuss what are sessions and cookies right generally what are sections and cookies so first one says sections these are server these are server side means of storing data that can be as assessed through multiple requests these data are, are stored by the server either in files um caches and or database since the client or browsers are not aware of the sessions they are considered secured so sessions are like the server side aspect of things the server side aspect of storing data later we'll get into why we need sessions and cookies so this is the server side style the server side other way that you can stay instead of using the database instead of using the database we use sessions for storing of of our data um, across requests right <clears throat> so cookies these are client side stored data that are passed to the server at every request by so doing the data can be accessed and used by the server the server could also send requests to modify add or delete cookies since the clients or the browsers are aware of them they are considered less secured right so the cookies are secured because the server knows about it and the client does not know about it and we all know the client that is the browsers can easily be manipulated by our users by maybe a hacker or whoever so the the cookies the sessions are not stored in the browser so they cannot be accessed by our user manipulated by our user our cookies can be stored in the browser so they can be manipulated by user. We'll get into difference between sessions and cookies and which one we should use and what have you. So, but this is what sections and cookies are. Sessions is a way of storing data, or you can say another way of storing data by the server side so that we can pass information across requests, sending information across requests, send information about this request, information about this request and response. We use it to make decisions, to run processes, to write our code, to control processes of another request and the response um, cycle, right? So cookies is a way of storing them by in the server and they, sorry, pardon me, and the client that's using the browser and what have you. So next, why do we need sessions and cookies? When sending requests and receiving response through the browser, HTTP is used HTTP hypertext transfer protocol is a stateless request protocol. This means that the browser does not contain any information about old requests. How then can we be able to persist values we do not want the user to always provide to us as this might be retarding and reduce user experience? This is where sessions and cookies play an important role. So HTTP, we know HTTP, HTTP is a stateless request protocol. By stateless, by stateless here, we mean that our request, when you make a request, when you make a request through a HTTP protocol, HTTP, HTTPS, through a HTTP protocol, 
that request you process that request get the response and that's it right everything about this request everything about the response our server our client forgets about it right so when you make a request send the response everything about this request and response goes away it disappears it's stateless right so we don't keep our state so but there are some instances let's say maybe a shopping let's say may something like a shopping site right a site where you shop right where you want users to enter items into the cart right when they enter items to, into the cart maybe reload reload the browser you don't want that item they entered into the cart to disappear since http is stateless right so when you enter those items into the cart and reload the browser without sessions and cookies they will possibly maybe there are other ways to persist them and everything but basically sessions and cookies are what are used to persist information in the browser right in the browser across requests right so when you want to persist information across http which when you want to that we can see sessions and cookies as a way of making http uh, hypertext transfer protocol a stateful request protocol that's it right http is stateless sessions and cookies are different separate ways of making it stateful right persisting data so what are the differences between differences between sessions and cookies we talked about it a little in the first slide so sessions and cookies we'll say first one sessions this is session over here this is cookie over here sessions they are stored in the server cookies they are stored in the browser or the clients we have talked about this and um, sessions they get destroyed after the browser closes cookies expiring this uh, can be set we'll look at this later but what we are trying to say here is that in the sessions when you create session and close the browser when you close the browser our sessions get destroyed but in the cookies we can set expiring dates for our cookies we can say maybe in three years in four years whatever what have you anything right so sessions get destroyed after the browser closes cookies don't get destroyed after the browser closes because we have expiring dates for them so sessions they are considered more secured cookies they are considered less secured like we discussed about it why because the sessions are stored in the server the user cannot tap out it the cookies are stored in the browser or the clients the user can tamper with it the client can tamper with it the hacker can tamper with it so sessions could be used to uh, for sensitive informations cookies can be shouldn't be used for sensitive informations pardon my spelling here guy. i said s-h-o-u-d-d for should there so like sessions can be used for sensitive informations obviously because they cannot be changed by the server they cannot be changed by the client it can only be changed by the server which is the code that we are writing which is the server that is controlling the that's the engine that is controlling the application the cookies can be changed by the by the client which makes it more secured which makes it not suitable for sensitive information but guys generally right if you ask me individually i don't really depend on sections and cookies for very 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 secured information information like maybe managing payment process users and um, payment id there there are maybe card passwords card pins and everything personally i don't recommend using sessions and cookies for things that are very 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 secured but if it's a little bit maybe less secured maybe user ids you could use the sessions for it but never the cookies right cookies should only be used for things you don't mind users getting to know things you don't mind maybe like we said cut item price item category you don't mind the user knowing that right so you can use the cookies for it but sessions for secured information but when you ask me personally for super secured information i will not trust either sessions or cookies for that you can use any other method you want but no sessions are cookie for super information if you ask me so guys this is it for this video in the next video we'll get maybe we we'll get into sessions and um, creating sessions yeah in the next video we'll get into creating sessions the processes used for creating sessions then we we'll go into deleting updating and everything then going to cookies setting test cookies and everything so if you like this video like subscribe share 
comment turn off the notification guys turn off the notification for 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 when i post new videos right when i post new videos about when i post new videos about this this topic today when i post new videos about any other thing any other jungle topic so guys thank you have a nice day peace